Hello and welcome to Odoo Live. My name is Noel, community manager here at Odoo San Omar, one of our business advisors, to talk about inventory management uh, in Odoo using barcodes. Welcome, Omar. Thank you, Noel. Thanks for having me. I really appreciate it. I'm super excited to be here. This is a topic that has uh, come up a lot recently. So uh, I'm glad that I can be the one to uh, uh, bring it all to you. As always, if you have any questions regarding today's topic, please put them in the chat and we will try our best to answer them at the end during our Q&A session. If you have other questions regarding other topics, you can always send us an email. We are at webinars at odoo.com. Or if you would like to get in touch with Omar directly, Omar, what is your email address? Uh, my email address is going to be oka at odoo.com. That is going to be okay oka at odoo.com for short. Excellent. Thank you. Uh, so let's see, I guess with all that being said, go ahead and take it away, Omar. Perfect. Um, so first, I just want to give you a brief uh, run through of what's on the menu for today. I'm going to go through what barcode scanners uh, we are compatible with, which in short is pretty much all of them. Um, then I'm going to talk about uh, uh, setting your, your inventory management system up for success using barcodes. I'm going to go through a couple business flows that'll give you a good understanding of how uh, how in, how our inventory management system um, handles barcoding as well. Uh, and then at the end, uh, I'll talk about um, the traceability you, you get with using a barcode scanner in our system, and then we'll open it up for questions. So with that being said, um, if you go on our website, you can go to our user documentation. There is gonna be a place where uh, it says, set up your barcode scanner. It's gonna explain which barcode scanners we take um, basically, we take USB scanners, we take uh, um, Bluetooth scanners, and then you can also use a tablet, um, a phone, um, or any iOS device. We do Android and Apple, so we have both of those covered for you. Um, with that being said, I'm going to go ahead and jump into my database that I have created for you all today. Um, as you can see right here on the, the top, it's going to say this is a free trial. For those of you who have never experienced Odoo or have never tried us out, you can go on our website, download a trial database, um, and pick any applications that you're interested in. The ones that I'm going to be using today are sales, purchase, inventory, invoicing, and of course the barcode application. Um, now, first thing I want to do is jump into our inventory application. This is the interface. Uh, here on the left hand side, you're going to have all of your receipts. So anything you're receiving into your inventory will come um, on the left hand side and you, under your receipts and anything that you're shipping out is going to be a delivery order. Um, now, before I get into the products um, and, and kind of the case that I've, I've planned out today for everyone, I want to talk about the configurations. And this is what I meant when I said uh, how to set yourself up for success. So go into your configurations um, and click on settings. This is going to pop up all the settings for the inventory uh, system. So what I've set up is one, the barcode scanner. That's going to be the first thing you need to set up. Um, and what you can do is you can print barcode commands. Now this is a really interesting feature within Odoo, which I will um, you will see me do live. Um, but basically what it allows us to do is make commands without touching the keyboard by just using our barcode scanner. So you'll see that in a minute. Um, I have a printed out sheet here that I'm going to use in a moment. Um, the next thing you want to do is go into your configurations, go into your operation types, and you can essentially do the same thing. If you click both of these, which is your receipts and your delivery orders, um, you can print your operation types uh, um, and it's or it's going to download, I guess, in a PDF form. Let's go ahead and open it up and it's going to look just like this. Now, you're going to want to keep these in your inventory uh, somewhere safe. You can laminate them uh, uh, because these aren't going to change. You're going to use these uh, throughout the whole time that you are using Odoo software. So with that being said, I'm going to jump into uh, the first flow. Now, to give you a, a brief overview of what I'm going to talk about today, uh, the case study that I'm bringing to you is uh, I made a fake company called Omar's Candy Bars. Um, so that's going to be the concept that we're using to go through inventory management using barcodes. So if you go up to your master data and you click products, this is where it's going to house all of your products that you, you create. You can easily create one here. Um, I'm going to go back and talk about the ones that I've created. So I have Omar's Crunchy Bar here. Um, what I did is I made a storable product. This is something that I want to keep track of in my inventory. Um, but most importantly, I set up 
the barcode right here. Um, what this does is allow me to have a product label that has barcodes. So if you're interested in printing your product labels and putting them on each of your products, this is going to be how you do it. Um, you can print out as many as you want and tag them up uh, accordingly. Now, I did that for both, uh, both of my products. So the next thing we're going to do is we need to create a purchase order. So if we want to receive something, we're going to purchase it from a vendor. Uh, let's go back into these applications. That's why I have the purchase application for you today. We're going to go ahead and click in here. As you can see, I did some test runs earlier. So here are some just uh, random purchase orders that I did when I was testing the system out before going live today. Um, but what you want to do is you're going to want to set up a vendor. Uh, for you to be able to, to do what I'm going to do today, you have to have a fake vendor. Make sure you have an address. Uh, these are all fake address, fake information. Um, but at least have an address and an email um, so that you can kind of run through a business flow when you're testing us out or using us live. Uh, so let's go back and we're going to create a uh, purchase order. So I'm going to click the candy company under vendor. We have our date uh, and let's go ahead and add a product. I'm going to add one uh, crunchy bar and I'm going to add another fruit bar. And we're going to change the quantity to five. Uh, I'm going to order five of each. Now, as you can see, this currently is just a request for quotation. It has not been turned into an active purchase order. Um, well, what we can do is if, if you are at your vendor's location or you're going to their location, you can print this request for quote to quotation um, or you can send it by email. Uh, I'll, print, I'll show you what the template looks like. Uh, here's your email template. It comes in a PDF form. Um, let's go ahead and download this and open it up. This is what it's going to look like just straight out of the box. Of course, you're going to have your own company logo uh, and company information on this document, but uh, this is what is here uh, out of the box in Odoo. Now, um, for the purpose of this demonstration, I'm just going to confirm the order. I, this is not a real company that I'm sending this to once again. So once I confirm this, this purchase order, it's automatically going to create uh, a receipt. So I now I need to receive my products into my inventory. So I'm going to click in here. As you can see, here is uh, uh, the order. We have our five and our other five. Now, what you need to do at this point is print your picking operations. Your picking operations are going to allow you to receive these products in your inventory with your barcode scanner and I'm going to teach you uh, how to use it. So for starters, this top um, barcode is going to link when you scan it, it's going to link it to this specific order. Um, and these barcodes down here are so that you can scan in your products if they don't come with barcodes. Now usually um, anytime you receive a product, it's going to come with a barcode um, from the get-go from your vendor. Um, the only kind of case I can think of off the top of my head right now where it wouldn't is maybe you're a, a t-shirt company and you make custom t-shirts, but when you order them um, from your vendor, then it, they come in a package of five, but you sell them individually. So you could essentially scan these barcodes, um, each one, and it will uh, allow you to scan them in individually as opposed to in one pack. Um, so with that being said, Let's go, uh, we're going to go back into our barcode app now, and I'm going to show you how to receive products into your inventory using our barcode application. So I'm going to click out here and I'm going to go into our barcode app. Um, once you're here, uh, this is where your picking operations are going to come in handy. Um, Noel, could we switch to this screen here? Certainly. So we're switching to the document screen so I can show you, uh, give you a live representation of um, how you're going to scan these items into your inventory. Are we on? We are. Perfect. So, like I said, this top barcode here is going to do that order. So when I scan it, the screen uh, uh, in our barcode application, and we can receive our products. And we can see right here the we ordered five, um, and we're going to be receiving five of each item. Um, this button here, uh, if I was scanning products into my inventory and I messed it up, I could click this and edit the, uh, the quantity itself um, in here. But I haven't scanned anything, so I haven't messed up. So check this out. I'm going to scan my items. Here's my one of my bars. There's one. There's two. 
there's three, there's four, and there's five. Now I'm going to do this one as well. And there's five of those as well. Um, now, like I said, this document here is going to come uh, in great handy. What it's going to do is it's going to allow me to validate this without putting my hands on the keyboard. So if you're um, getting large shipments uh, in daily, weekly, monthly, um, in which you're scanning in and out hundreds or thousands of items, um, having this sheet is going to save you a lot of time. So what I'm going to do now is I'm going to validate here. And as you can see, it popped up success. This transfer has been validated. Let's go back into our inventory. Um, I can show you what this happened. Now we're back in our inventory application. We're going to go into our products. And as you can see, the quantities changed, or maybe you didn't see. Um, I just brought in five. So you can see I have nine on hand of this one, and I have eight on hand of this one. So that means I had four and three um, prior. Um, but that is essentially uh, going to save you a, a whole lot of time when you're scanning items in and out. Just, just that function alone. And it's going to be the same for if you're selling an item. If you're selling an item, you're just going to print the picking operations under your delivery order and do the same process that I just showed you. Um, the next thing I want to tackle has to do with uh, um, um, if, uh, if you're changing your inventory in the barcode application. So it's going to be an inventory adjustment. So this would be uh, cover the function of your daily or weekly, monthly, however you do it, walking through your inventory and scanning items to make sure you have the right amount um, that your system says it does. And it's going to change your inventory automatically without having to do anything at all. So what I'm going to do is click inventory adjustment and start scanning away. Now it says I have nine. I'm going to go 10 just for this demonstration here. Matter of fact, 11. Let's do that. And then let's scan this one. And we'll do put more of this one too as well. We'll do 11 for both. How about that? Um, now, once again, if you didn't see it before, I can validate and successful. That adjustment has been validated and it's in my inventory. So I can go back, um, go into our inventory. Let's go into our products. And you can see that now I have 11 on hand of both of my items. So uh, it makes it really easy when you're doing just your daily operations to have the correct inventory amount um, at any point in time. Now, the next thing I want to cover, uh, this is going to have to do with um, tracking your inventory. Um, on, on a daily basis or from a managerial standpoint, I should say. Um, so let's go into one of these products. We're going to click product moves. Um, so now I can see anything that had to do with this specific product, where it came from, where it's going, um, is going to be in this application. I'm going to click, uh, click right here. Now you can see um, where it's from. These items came from my vendor um, and they went into my stock. Uh, and then also you can see that uh, this was a sale I did when I was testing earlier. It came from my warehouse stock and it left to a customer. Um, and here on the reference, these with the WH in front uh, all, ha all have to do with um, um, purchase orders. So as you can see, the numbers on the end correspond with the purchase orders that I created. Um, and then this one at the bottom, this is my inventory adjustment. And it came from, you can see here once again, from an inventory adjustment into my stock. And it says two because I added two uh, to what we already had. Um, with that being said, that is a general overview of the basic functionality of barcodes within Odoo and how you can optimize your time um, and save yourself, uh, uh, really save yourself a lot of time, a lot of struggle um, when you're when you're trying to manage your inventory. Um, I'm trying to think off the top of my head if there's anything more that, that I could bring you guys today. Um, I think that I pretty much covered uh, the basics in Odoo. And if you watch this webinar um, and you go through it, there's, there's really not any other functionality um, that you can't do that doesn't match the flows that I've just showed you. Um, so with that being said, I appreciate everybody coming to watch this webinar today. Um, and if you have any questions, comments, concerns, you know, feel free to reach out to me at OKA at ODOO.com.
That is Oka at Odoo.com. And once again, my name is Omar. Thank you very much. <laughs> Woo. Well, all right. Thank you, Omar. Um, let's see. Do you have time to uh, let's see if we can answer a, a question here at the end? Oh, sure. Of course. Yeah, so it looks like we got one from Panda Bear. Uh, he asks, instead of the picking operation, could we scan the PO, the purchase order? Could you, instead of the picking operations, mm -hmm. could you scan the purchase order itself? Let's see here. I'm, I'm, I'm going to test this out live, so let's see. Um, let's create a purchase order. Let's do, we're going to, candy company. Let's add a bar. Let's save it, confirm, let's print the purchase order, let's see what this purchase order looks like. So there is no barcode, so no, you could not scan the purchase order. You would have to scan the purchase, uh, the picking operation to um, get it to link with this purchase order and, and to match up. Gotcha. Very good. Uh, well, then, I guess in, in the meantime, we're going to see if anybody has any last-minute questions. But uh, while we're waiting for that, once again, I'd like to thank you for uh, today's presentation. Uh, oh, wait. Oh, we did get one, one last one here from okay. uh, Philippe Pago. Can we create our own operations with another, with a, another module than inventory? Um, so you can create uh, operations within Odoo. Um, here, I'll show you where you can kind of play around with that. Uh, we're going to go into our inventory, um, go into operation types, and then click create. It's going to bring you to this screen. Uh, I don't know what exact operations you're trying to create, um, but that is something that you feel free to email me. Let me know, uh, um, you know what you're trying to do with inside the, the software, and I will either figure it out for you or uh, tell you how to do it if, it's, if what you're asking is uh, completely possible. Excellent. Uh, well then, uh, all right. I mean, uh, I guess that that's probably gonna do it for us here. Thank you. Omar, yeah, if there's no for, more questions. Uh, that's a short and sweet presentation. Yeah, that is pretty much, um, like I said, an overview of how you can use barcodes within the Odoo application. Uh, for inventory management. Excellent. Uh, well, again, if uh, you're watching us live or if you're watching us later pre-recorded, uh, if you have any lingering questions that you have regarding Odoo or uh, particularly barcodes and inventory management, you can always send us an email. We are at webinars at odoo.com or as Omar mentioned, if you would like to get in touch with him directly, Omar, what is your email address? It's going to be OKA at odoo.com. So OKA at odoo.com. Awesome. Uh, don't forget that we are currently also in the midst of our Odoo 12 tour. Uh, so if you'd like to get information about that and you know see if, uh, if there are opportunities for you to meet us in person, uh, we always recommend you checking out our website. We are at odoo.com slash events. Uh, we have events happening in this country and all around the world. Uh, and all of our uh, events are up to date there. And uh, you know as always, registration is free. So come on out meet us and find out that we are in fact uh, you know flesh and blood people and not just uh, you know <laughs> uh, images that you see on your screen uh, so I guess with that being said is there anything else you'd like to add before we before we go Omar uh, no that's it um, you know I, th I think we've covered everything if you have any questions you know my email and, and feel free to reach out anytime I'm easy to contact awesome well then uh, from all of us here at O2 San Francisco thank you all for watching enjoy the Memorial Day weekend and We'll see you all uh, in June.